Amen. Merry Christmas po ba ulit? <laughs> Nag-snow po na naman. Amen. And sab sabihin nyo nga po, Happy March 1st. Grabe, last, yesterday it was just February 29, the extra day of February. Now, we are in the first day of March. And I know and I believe that the Lord is going to do His wonders and miracles, His great signs, wonders, and miracles. Amen po ba? Sino po ready? Amen. Sino po handa? Amen. Shall we give God the best clap of praise once again? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Ayun, um, we are in another theme. Amen. But I know and I believe that the month of February, the theme of February, hindi lang po magtatapos doon. Do you believe that? Hindi lang po magtatapos doon. Kasi um, the month of February, ano nga po ulit yung theme ng month of February? A call to passionate love. Di po ba when we are passionate in love with the Lord, you would do everything and anything. You would do everything and anything. Kaya naman po, our theme for this month, nasabi na po ni Sister Samata kanina, a re revival, an er um, a revival, ano po? A call to absolute ob obedience. Once again, revival, a call to absolute obedience. Sino po dito uh, may, may long-standing prayers? Sino po dito naghihintay for their prayers to be answered? Whether it is family reunification, whether um, it is for your papers, whether it is for family restoration. Amen po. Ano pa po? Salvation of a loved one. Di po ba? Um, that is a long-standing prayer as well. Amen. And who among us here is um, excited to receive the blessing of the Lord. Amen. Sabi nga po in um, Isaiah chapter 1 verses 19 to 20, ano po sabi doon? Isaiah chapter 1 verses 19 to 20. If you are willing and obedient, you will eat the best from the land. But if you resist and rebel, you will be devoured by the sword for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Amen po. Since our theme for this month is about an absolute obedience, sabi po dito, verse 19 and 20, If you are willing and obedient, you will eat the best from the land. But if you resist and rebel, you will be devoured by the sword, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Amen. Alam na po natin, um, the chapter in the book of Deuteronomy, amen, the book in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, amen, it talks about um, blessings for obedience and curses for disobedience. But I will not jump into that one yet, amen. So for tonight, let us open once again our Bible in the book of Deuteronomy. Ito po yung magiging text ko for tonight in the book of Book of Deuteronomy chapter 13, verse 4, sabi po dito, It is the Lord your God you must follow, and Him you must revere. Keep His commands and obey Him, serve Him, and hold fast to Him. And may the Lord add blessing to the reading of His mighty and powerful word. When um, I was um, reading yung the monthly themes for each month, um, kasi na, napalabas po ito during vision casting. Amen. Sabi ko, ano kaya sa month of March? Kasi January is done, February, it just began. Tapos sabi ko po, ano kaya in the month of March? Eh, ito po, an absolute obedience, a call to absolute obedience. Let us read it one more time. May I invite everyone to rise up as we read the very word of the Lord in reverence. <coughs> Three... Two, one. It is the Lord your God you must follow, and Him you must revere. Keep His commands and obey Him. Serve Him and hold fast to Him. Amen po. Makakaupo na po tayo. Amen. So when I was reading po Isaiah chapter 1, verses 19 to 20, di po ba sabi doon, if you want to eat the best of the land, if you are willing and obedient, 
you will eat the best from the land. But if you resist and rebel, you will be devoured by the sword. Di po ba ayaw naman po natin na ma-devour by the sword? Sino po dito gusto ma-devour by the sword? I believe wala naman po. Sino po dito gusto ma, um, maka-receive ng blessing from the Lord? Therefore, let us be willing and obedient. Amen. I will just share three points for tonight. And I entitled my preaching po tonight as Obedience is Essential. Sabi nyo nga po, obedience is essential. Amen. And hindi lang po ito yung clothing brandy po ba, may uso po ngayon, essential fear of God. But I believe po in, in um, spiritually po, yes, fear of God is essential. Also, obedience is essential. Amen po. So my first point for tonight, amen, as we have read, as we have read um, the verse ng Deuteronomy chapter 13 verse 4, sabi, sabi ko po dito, the first point is, how could, be, how could obedience be essential? We have to follow God and revere Him. Point number one po is follow and revere God. Thank you po. Once again, Ayun po, um, verse 4, eh, sabi po dito, It is the Lord your God you must follow, and Him you must revere. When I was um, preparing my teaching po kaninang umaga, um, the Lord had reminded me of two characters in the Bible. Two characters in the Bible. First one is Abraham, and the second one is Moses. Amen. Um, if you have your Bibles, I pray po, we have all of our Bibles with us. Amen. Sabi nga po, um, in the life of Abraham, the Lord had commanded him. Ano po yung command ni Lord sa kanya? The, one of the um, critical commandment, di po ba, to offer his one and only son, Isaac. Di po ba, he has been waiting for Isaac for many, 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 many years. Amen. But si Abraham po, ito po yung action po niya, yung response. He got up in the morning, he saddled up his donkey, and head on. Amen. Sino pong, who, if you were to put yourself in Abraham's shoes, and the Lord had asked you, Anak, could you offer, um, could you offer your child, or even, for example, for your work, could you offer at least one Friday, night of power, Amen. But Lord, madami po akong bayarin. Bills, bills, bills. Amen. Would you do it? If you were in Abraham's shoes, would you offer your one and only child that you have waited for for many years? It, it would be hard, but his action po, ano po, yung action, ano po yung naging action niya? He got up in the morning, saddled his donkey, and head on. Hindi po siya nagdalawang isip. Amen. Hindi po siya nag-negotiate to the Lord. But he got up in the morning, saddled his donkey and head on. Amen. Sabi nga po in verse 2 ng Genesis chapter 22, Take your son, your only son Isaac, whom you love, and go to Moriah. Sacrifice him there as a burnt offering on one of the mountains. I will tell you. Verse 3. The next morning, Abraham got up and saddled up or loaded his donkey. He took with him two of his servants and his son Isaac. When he had cut enough wood for the burnt offering, he set out for the place God had told him about. Di po ba, if you were in his position, you would be like, Lord, bakit? Lord, why me? I've waited for this for so long. But he obeyed the Lord. He followed God and he revered the instructions of the Lord. Amen. And ano po yung naging outcome po niya? The outcome of it is that the Lord provided. There in the thicket, there was a ram. And then, ano pa po? And God blessed his descendants. Sabi nga po, outcome of it in verse 17 the lord provided and blessed him by making his descendants numerous as the stars in the sky 
and sand in the seashore. When we, when we simply obey the Lord, even though it is the hardest thing, sino po dito, can you say that, um, can you say to yourself na I obey the Lord? Yung totoo po, di po ba everybody can say, I love Jesus, I love the Lord, I love you God. But can you really say, I obey the Lord? I will obey the Lord. Try nyo po. When I was teaching this, I go, Lord, ouch. <laughs> it's hard to teach something na hindi ka pat nat natuturuan. Pero praise the Lord. The Lord said, anak, here is my message. Namnamin mo. Dissect it. Read it over and over and over again until you see my point that obedience. Di po ba? In the book of, I believe, um, 1 Samuel. Amen. Na to offer. No, ano po ba yun? Sige po, let's open our Bibles. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Ayun, naalala ko na po. Amen. So ano po yung naging outcome niya? The Lord provided and blessed his descendants. Amen. And the second po is Moses. Si Moses po. Going back. Moses in Numbers chapter 20. Di po ba alam po natin yung um, the story of Moses kung bakit hindi po siya nakapasok sa promised land. Ang command lang po ng Panginoon kay Moses is that speak to the rock and water will come out. Ang, con ang, bibli ang context lang po nito is that the Israelites, the people of Israel, they were complaining. Sinasabi po nila, why did you lead us to wilderness? Wala nang ang makain, wala nang ang mainom. What are you gonna do with, what are you doing with our life? Eh, of course, parang the weight of the responsibility of leading the people was on his shoulders. Amen. Let us open our Bibles in the book of Numbers chapter 20. Numbers chapter 20 verses Sasamarize ko na lang po ito. Amen. Ipuba, they quarreled with Moses. If only we had died when our brothers fell dead before the Lord. Why did you bring the Lord's community into his, this desert that we and our livestock should die here? Ito po yung mga complaints nila. Why did you bring us up out of Egypt to this terrible place? It has no grain or figs, grapevines or pomegranates, and there is no water to drink. So verse 6, Moses and Aaron went from the assembly to the entrance to the tent of meeting and fell face down, and the glory of the Lord appeared to them. Verse 7, ito lang po yung sinabi ng Panginoon. This is the simplest commandment that the Lord gave to Moses. Verse 8, take the staff, and you and your brother Aaron gather the assembly together. Speak to the rock before their eyes, and it will pour out its water. You will bring water out of the rock for the community so they and their livestock can drink. The command of the Lord is so simple. Amen. Sabi lang po ng Panginoon, speak to the rock before their eyes and I will pour out its water. Pero ano po yung ginawa niya? He struck the water, not once, but twice. Verse 9, sabi po dito, So Moses took the staff from the Lord's presence just as, he, just as he commanded him. He and Aaron gathered the assembly together in front of the rock, and Moses said to them, Listen, you rebels. Grabe. Listen, you rebels. Must we bring you water out of this rock? Na frustrate po siya kasi ang dami pong nagko-complain. Amen. Then Moses raised his arm and struck the rock. 
twice with his staff. Water gushed out and the community and their livestock drank. Verse 12. Ito na po yung nakakaiyak. Amen. Verse 12. But the Lord said to Moses and Aaron, Because you did not trust in me enough to honor me as holy in the sight of Israelites, you will not bring the community into the land I give them. Grabe po, no? Yung command ni Abraham at yung command ni Moses. It's yung sa command po ni Abraham, his one and only son. But what did he do? What did Abraham do? He obeyed. He revered the instructions of the Lord. Si Moses po, sabi lang po ng Panginoon, speak to the rock and water will come out. The action, yung response po ni Moses, he struck the rock two times. And the outcome, ano po yung outcome? He, Moses just saw from a distance yung promised land. And he did not get to enter the promised land. Do you see the picture po? Something so simple na kinuman ng Panginoon sa kay Moses, pero he missed out on entering the promised land. Amen po. In everything we do, in every decision we make, we must give careful thought to what is in our minds, as well as acting out our actions. Amen po. An absolute obedience. Sino po dito, they can say that obeying the Lord is easy as a piece of cake. Wala po, di ba? Nobody will ever say that. It's not easy. Because why? We are still living in our earthly bodies. But we can do so as long as we live, amen, walking with the Spirit. Amen. Abraham's task from the Lord was heavy. Di po ba? Compared to Moses. Sabi, speak to the rock is trap twice yung bato. Amen. Abraham's task from the Lord was heavy. But not a word of complaint was said. Di po ba yung actions niya? He saddled up his donkey, got up in the, the next morning, and went to Mount Moriah. He even tied up his son. He laid his son sa place na yo offer siya. Amen. But at the thicket, there was a ram that was provided. Eh, yung task po ni Moses. Moses' task from the Lord is easy. But because of his emotions, he, stuck, he struck the rock and missed the blessing of entering to the promised land. Grabe po, no? Simple emotions na we are being led by our emotions will affect, parang domino effect po siya. If our heart is not guarded with the word of the Lord, if we take off the helmet of salvation, you will be led with your emotions. And I pray po tonight, amen, na the Lord is already speaking to you. Amen. Ano nga po ba yung bagay na hinihiling po natin sa Panginoon? We all have, I have asked you earlier, ano po yung mga long-standing prayers po ng bawat isa? Amen. And the first step po is follow and revere God. Amen. Follow and revere God. Let us, pag may mga, um, pag may mga problema po na dumadating sa ating buhay, let us not complain, but let us do what the Lord asks us to do. Amen. Devotion before emotion. Sabi, sabi niyo nga po sa katabi niyo, devotion before emotion. Amen po ba? Amen. Number two, wow. <laughs> Number two. I think I'd be finished around 8.15. Let's see. <laughs> 
Amen. Number two is keep his commands and obey it. Ayan. Naka, ano na po yung mga verses. Keep his commands and obey him. Let us open our Bibles in the book of Proverbs chapter 3, verses 1 and 2. Ano po sabi doon? My son, do not forget my teaching, but keep my commands in your heart. For they will prolong your life many years and bring you peace and prosperity. Sa season of waiting po, di ba? It's not easy. Sa work nga po, nakakatuwa. <laughs> um, during our gathering time ng, ng mga bata, kasi ang routine po namin sa work is that um, they have morning snack, And then they go to the washroom to prepare to go either to the gym, gym, ano po siya, it's just an empty space where they can run around or go to the rooftop, yung outdoor place po namin. And then after, after they go to the bathroom, we go upstairs. And then after we go upstairs or to the gym, we go back downstairs sa kwarto po namin. And then... Sabi ko, okay, go wash hands and then go sit at the carpet. We're gonna do our circle time. After we do our circle time, sabi ko, if you are ready, make sure you're sitting crisscross applesauce and wait for your name to be called. Ang attention span po ng mga bata, especially I'm in the two and three year old, twos and threes um, classroom. Of course, They have basically ants in their pants. Hindi po sila. They cannot sit still. Amen? Yung mga parents po dyan na may toddlers slash preschoolers, they cannot sit still. Amen? Where am I going with this? Waiting is, yes, it's wonderful, but also it's painful. Di po ba? Pagkain pa nga lang po, ready na ba? Ready na ba? Amen. But the longer that we wait, amen, the best blessing that we could ever have. Amen. Allow me to read again. My son, do not forget my teaching, but keep my commands in your heart, for they will prolong your life many years and bring you prosperity. That is one of the thing, the key po, that will guard our hearts, amen, in our obedience to the Lord. By not forgetting the teachings, by not forgetting the commands of the Lord, storing it up in our heart. Sabi po, for they will prolong your life many years and bring you peace and prosperity. Amen. Let us guard our hearts with his words. Proverbs 4 verses 20 to 23. Sabi po dito, my son, pay attention to what I say. Turn your ear to my words. Do not let them out of your sight. Keep them within your heart, for they are life to those who find them and health to one's body, one whole, one's whole body. Verse 23, also, oh, before that, sige po, let's go back. Amen? Sabi po dito, pay attention to what I say. Amen? Pay attention to what I say. Turn your ear to my words. Do not let them out of your sight. Keep them within your heart. What is in your heart, people of God? What is in your thoughts? Is it the word of God? Is it the promises of the Lord? Or is it worries? Is it fears of this world? Amen? Our best defense and offense when it comes to anxious thoughts is the word of God. Amen po. Do not let them out of your sight. Keep them within your heart. Amen po. Keep them within your heart. Let me ask you again, what is in your heart? What is in your heart? Shaba? Oy? Ang seryoso niyo po kasi. Ang mga 
um, bayarin po ba what is in your heart? Papers nyo po ba? Family reunification? Your family salvation? Amen. Do not let them out of your sight. Keep them within your heart. Amen. Motivational quotes, they're nice. But the word of God, sabi po dito in verse 22, for they are life to those who find them and health to one's whole body. Dapat po may baon po tayong salita ng Panginoon araw-araw. Amen. Sino po dito during elementary, maybe for you guys, mga children's, di po ba, um, pag when you open your lunch bag, you'd say, oh, what's that? Can you share? Dapat ganun din po tayo sa mga um, co-workers natin and mga classmates. Amen? Share the word of the Lord. Amen po ba? And verse 23, alam na po natin to. Above all else, guard your heart for everything you do flows from it. Kaya po, let, uh, let our hearts be guarded. Amen? Let our hearts be guarded. Because everything we do, Di po ba? Out of the heart, the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Ngayon po, the abundance of the heart, the fingers text and shout out in Facebook, in thread, in X, ano pa po? Amen? Kaya po, let us guard our hearts with the word of the Lord. Psalms 119, alam na po natin to. Verses 9 to 11. Amen? As we keep His commands and obey it, sabi po dito, how can a young man keep his way pure? How can we stay on the path of purity? Amen? I believe in this word po, they are, um, the psalmist did not just um, Think of the young person, but I believe it's for everyone. How can a young person stay on the path of purity? By living according to your word. Amen. Verse 10, I seek you with all my heart. Do not let me astray. Do not let me stray from your commands. I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Amen. If you want to know the the ways of the Lord, if you want to please the Lord, if your ultimate goal in life is to please the Lord and know what He wants, amen, seek Him with all of our heart. Hide His word in our heart para hindi po tayo, we will not jump into sin, amen, not even jump, kundi yung tampisaw sa sin, Amen? Because I believe sin, it doesn't go extravagant. Amen? It goes little by little. Sa tikim. Amen? But let us hide the word of God in our heart so that we would know nakatatak po sa puso at siisipan po natin all of the things that the Lord loves. The Lord loves obedience. He despises disobedience. Amen po. That's why I believe it was written yung Deuteronomy chapter 28. Amen. Sa bahay nyo na lang po yun babasahin. Amen. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verses 1 to 68. Mahaba haba. Amen. Mahaba haba. Ayan no? Blessings for, for obedience. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verses 1 to 14. And curses for disobedience is Deuteronomy chapter 28 verses 15 to 68. Mamili po kayo dyan. Ano po yung gusto nyong maranasan dyan? Blessing for obedience na siksik, liglig, at umaapaw or yung curses for disobedience 15 to 68. How many verses is that all together? Amen po. That's why let us keep His commands and obey it. Can you tell it to your seatmate? Keep his commands. 
and obey it. Sa kabila po, I will keep His commands and I will obey it. Shall we give God the best clap of praise po? Amen. And jumping to verse 112. Sabi po dito, My heart is set on keeping your decrees to the very end. Meaning po, the word of the Lord, reading, meditating, consuming the word of the Lord, it is not just a one-time, big time po. It is an everyday thing. Sabi po, my heart is set on keeping your decrees to the very end. Ano po yung to the very end? Dalawa lang po yun. Either we expire or when the Lord comes back. Actually, even till eternity. Because I believe in heaven, we will only talk about the word of God. Amen po. All the days of our lives, let us set our hearts in keeping the decrees of the Lord till the end. Till the very end. Amen po. And the third point. Wow. May natutunan po ba tayo? Amen. Number three is hold on tightly to God as we serve Him. Verse 4c, sabi po dito, serve Him and hold fast to Him. In the NLT version, I believe, sabi po doon, serve Him and cling to Him. In, the ver in chapter... 13 verse 4. Sabi po doon, cling to Him. Ano po ba yung, ayun, serve only the Lord your God and fear Him alone. Obey His commands. Listen to His voice and cling to Him. Ano po ba ang definition ng cling? To hold tightly, di po ba? To not let go. Amen. Sa work nga po, uuwi na nga lang po ako. Dalawang bata pa yung nasa legs ko. They're clinging on to me and they don't want me to go home. Sabi ko, guys, let me go home. I'm tired. <laughs> Let's play again tomorrow. Ganun po ba tayo sa word ng Lord? Ganun po ba tayo sa presensya ng Panginoon? Na ayaw, katulad ng mga bata ko po sa work, ayaw nila akong paalisin. Nakagard nga po yung door. Sabi nila, no Catherine, don't go home. Amen po. Just like a child, they would cling on, let us have that, a childlike faith. To cling on to the very word of the Lord. No matter Amen. No matter the situations we have in life. Law, it's the end of my, ano, buti na lang March 1st ngayon. Siguro last week po. Katapusan, di po ba pagkatapusan si Mr. Bill at saka si Judith po. Nag-hello. Ala, saan ko kaya kukuha yung pambayad ko? Amen. When we hold steadfastly on the word of the Lord, clinging on to His promises, alam nyo po, all of those fears, anxiety, those negative thoughts, the Lord will throw it away and He will fill you up with His presence. Kasi po ba, di po ba His presence? Amen. In His presence, ano po, there is peace. In His presence, there is joy. Di po ba may kantang ganon? In your presence, in your presence, there is peace. In your presence, in your presence, there is joy. Let me linger. Let me stay in your presence day by day till your likeness may be seen in me. Let this be the very prayer of our hearts tonight. Amen.
Just like how Jesus did po. Amen. Even, he was even obedient sa kamatayan. Amen. Can we just open our Bibles in the book of Philippians chapter 2? This is our theme verse for the whole month, actually. Chapter 2, beginning verse 6 to verse 8, I believe. Sabi po dito, your, Who being in very nature, God did not consider equality with God something to be grasped, but made himself nothing. Taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness, and being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to death, even death on a cross. See, Jesus, po, he was already, you know, living in heaven. He was living the life in heaven. But because of his great love for you and I, because we are all bound to hell, actually, but because of his great love, it says, who being in very nature, God did not consider equality with God something to be grasped. Hindi po niya in-embrace na siya ay hari. Amen? He made himself nothing. Taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness, being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to death, even death on a cross. Amen. Just like Jesus, he became obedient to death, even death on a cross, because of his love for you and me. Amen, Puba. Wow. I believe the Lord deserves the best cup of praise for that. Amen, Pop. Going back to our PowerPoint. Amen. Let us serve the Lord and hold fast to Him. Cling to Him. And how do we um, serve Him and hold fast to Him? First is by standing firm. Amen. Are you in the verge po na um, going your way just to get what um, you want? In life, will you do, um, will you compromise your service to the Lord? Will you compromise your faith? Amen. Sabi po dito, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 58. Therefore, my dear brothers, stand, f yun. therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord because your labor, because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. My dear brothers and sisters, stand firm, hold on, cling on to the very promises of God and allow Him to move. Amen. By being obedient to His word, by being obedient to Him. Because obedience is essential for your prayers i believe well, for your our prayers to be answered our long standing prayers to be answered the number one thing is obedience it is essential amen first corinthians 16 verse 13 be on your guard stand firm in the faith be man of courage be strong let us guard our heart, going back to number two. Amen. Have our hearts guarded so that we can stand firm in the faith. So that yung pag-obey po natin sa Panginoon, it will not be compromised. Amen po ba? Number two, focus on Jesus. Maybe the reason why you're giving up and no longer obeying, it's because you're Focus has shifted into different priorities. 
Remember po, the Lord knows your long-standing prayers. Just focus on Jesus alone. Amen. Hebrews chapter 12. Lapit na po ako magtatapos. Hebrews chapter 12, verses 1 till to 3. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such great, great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles, and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us. Verse 2. Let us fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith, for who for the joy set before him endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Consider him who endured such opposition from sinful men so that you will not grow weary and lose heart. The first step po, amen, for your, an for your prayers to be answered is obedience. Let, let, us not, not, let us not allow our faith to be shaken by our situations that we are going through. Do not allow your faith to be paralyzed by what the devil is injecting you. But fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith. Amen po. And the last is yielding our hearts to the Lord. Di po ba? Focus on Jesus. What is in your heart? Ano po ba laman ng ating puso? Bakit hindi po tayo maka-obey? Amen? Di po ba I ask kanina, or I said kanina, it's so easy to say, I love you, Lord. I love you, Jesus. I love you, God. You can scream it on top of your lungs. Pero why is it so hard for us to say, really mean it? Sincerely mean it. I will follow you. I will follow. I will obey you, Lord. I will obey your word. Amen? Ano po ba yung laman ng puso natin? Bakit hindi po tayo makapag-obey? Is it worries? Fears? Amen? Joshua chapter 24, verses 23. Sabi dito, Now then, said Joshua, Throw away the foreign gods, that are among you and yield your hearts to the Lord, the God of Israel. Yung mga foreign gods po, that is the busyness of life. The foreign gods, the idols that we have, amen, that is our um, wrong priorities in life. That is our worries, that is our doubts, that is our fears. That is even our pride. I message some of my co-leaders. Sabi ko, bakit ang hirap makapag-obey sa Panginoon? I said, Lord, I know the answer, but I would love to hear it from other people too. Amen? One of them said, maybe because they're la you're lazy. That's why... Di ka makapagsunod sa Panginoon. You just want to nurture that um, that complacent spirit. Amen. But the but Joshua said here, throw away the foreign gods that are among you, and yield your hearts to the Lord, the God of Israel. Yield your hearts to the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, as I end po, going back to my question po kanina, why is it so easy to say that we love the Lord, but it's so hard to do, to, it's so hard to obey what the Lord is commanding us? Amen. Why is it? Like what I said po kanina, is our hearts and minds filled with wrong priorities, 
with doubts, with fears. Amen. Sabi nga ng Lord, sabi nga ng word ng Panginoon, Be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid, do not be terrified. For I, the Lord, will go with you wherever you go. You keep worrying. You keep doubting. But the Lord said, Be strong and have of good courage. Amen. For us, but for our prayers that we are praying po, the number one thing that the Lord asks of us is to obey. Amen. Going back to our main verse, Deuteronomy chapter 13, verse 4, before that po, sabi dito, it is the Lord your God you must follow. That means it is essential. You must follow and Him you must revere. It's a must. Obeying the Lord po, it is not an option. It is mandatory. Amen? It is not an option. It is mandatory. It is a must. It is essential. Amen? Going to the conclusion po, Deuteronomy chapter 13, verse 4, in the message translation, sabi po dito, You are to follow only God, your God. Hold Him, de hold him in deep reverence. Keep His commandments. Listen obediently to what He says. Serve Him. Hold on to Him for dear life. Sabi po dito, for dear life. We only have one life to live. Why are you living it in worries? Why are you wor why are you living it in fears? Amen. For us for for us to overcome that pop, just submit and obey to the word of the Lord, to the voice of the Lord. Amen. Maybe the reason kung bakit po you're full of fears and you do not want to obey the Lord because you no longer trust in Him. Amen? Maybe that's the reason. But sabi po in Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 to 7, dito na po ako magtatapos. Amen? Can we just flash it on the screen? Proverbs chapter 3, Verses 5 to 7. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to Him and He will make your path straight. Verse 7. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and shun evil. Amen. Because when we are being wise in our own eyes, that is already rebellion to the Lord. That is already disobedience to the Lord. Na, Lord, ito na lang po gagawin ko. I'll just, I'll just come back siguro when everything is okay. But that does not how the Lord works. Amen. Hindi po ganun mag-work ang Panginoon. Obedience plus trusting equals victory equals answered prayers. Ano pa po? Equals joy, peace. Amen po. That's why let us not forget po, obedience is essential. Amen? Obedience is essential. Allow me to read once again Isaiah chapter 1, verses 9 to 2, 19 to 20. 
if you are willing and obedient, you will eat the good things of the land. But if you resist and rebel, you will be devoured by the sword. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. I cannot change po your thoughts. Pero it is clearly said and stated in the word of the Lord. If you are willing and obedient, you will eat the good things of the land. But if you resist and rebel and do your own ways, you will be devoured by the sword. The part po na sinabi devoured by the sword, I believe yun po yung worries in life, anxious thoughts, negative thoughts. It devours you. Di po ba we would want to live in a life na peaceful, joyful, walang nangyayari na masama. Then be willing and obedient. And for sure po, the Lord will pour out His blessing. Amen po. May natatunan po ba tayo sa gabing ito? Can I invite everybody to just arise? Amen. And let us just ponder po on what we have learned tonight. Amen. Amen po. Hallelujah. Just commune with the Lord tonight and ask Him to just examine our hearts. Sa mga oras po na we are taking the wheel from His hands. Amen. If there are moments po na we are being too stubborn to listen to what He is saying. Amen po. Just commune with the Lord. And have our hearts examined before Him. Are we full of ourselves? Na wala na pong space ang Panginoon sa puso natin. Ask Him to empty us out. Ask Him to empty us out so that He alone can be filled in our hearts. Allow this song but to minister. I put my hope in Christ alone. I place my trust in Christ alone. I bow down my knees in Christ alone. I surrender. sing this song po once again let us not just sing the song plainly but let this song be the prayer of our heart let us be transparent before the Lord And be true to Him. Now, Lord, there are times, many times, na my trust in You, the reason why my obedience to You nagiging disobedience because I'm taking the wheel. But tonight, Paul, let us surrender our hearts. Let us surrender our will, our plans, our goals to the Lord. Amen. And let us just sing this song with all of our hearts in Christ alone. In Christ alone, I put my hope in Christ alone. No, we place our trust. I place my trust 
condition of your heart you know the condition of your situation why is it hard to follow and obey who is in your heart what is in your heart who lives in your heart I pray for tonight that as I have shared your word the word of the Lord we have grasped the very message that obedience is key to pleasing the Lord as we please the Lord it will unlock blessings and favor 
Is there anything that is bothering you po? That is hindering you to obey? Sabi nga po sa kanta, I give you my heart. I give you my soul. To Jesus I surrender. You have to surrender all of your doubts and fears. I give you my heart. Surrender it all to the Lord. All of your anxieties, all of your thoughts that is not pleasing to Him. Oh, we give you our hearts. We give you our soul. Oh, we give
tonight. Thank you, Lord, for I know and I believe that you did not pass by anyone in this place. Thank you, Lord, for strengthening us. Thank you, Lord, for reminding us, Panginoon, that obedience is key, O oh God, to, to please you, Panginoon. It is essential, O oh God. Kaya naman po, Lord, I pray, O oh God, that you will continue to guard our hearts, our thoughts, our spirit, and help us to number our days right so that we will gain, oh God, a heart of wisdom. Pleasing you, Panginoon, is our ultimate desire. Kaya, kaya naman po, Lord, as your people have attended tonight's night of power, Lord, alam niyo po, Panginoon, ang kanilang panalangin, ang kanilang mga daing, Panginoon. Lord, I pray that you will meet them, oh God, you will answer their prayers, O God, for those people, Panginoon, that is looking for the right job, Panginoon. Lord, pour it out to them. Even, O Lord, their papers for nothing is too hard or difficult for you. In the mighty name of Jesus, even, Lord, uh, salvation to the family, uh, family re reunification. In the mighty name of Jesus, a blessing of a baby. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, wala pong impossible sa inyo, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, and Lord, as, as we are going to wait, oh God, help us to wait patiently with joy and gladness in our heart. And Lord, I also pray, Panginoon, hallelujah for all of my dear brothers and sisters that um, that as they represent their families as well, oh God, bless their food and their water, bless their coming in and their going out. And I pray, oh God, that no weapon will be formed against them, oh God, that no sicknesses, no diseases shall prevail in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. Even, Lord, for all of our... Um, our powerhouse tomorrow, even our Sunday worship and healing service on Sunday, oh God, let it be victorious, oh God. Be in the center of it all in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, to you alone we give all the highest glory, honor, power, and praise. In Jesus' name this we pray. Amen and amen. God bless us all.